just introduced quite a large group of people into our organization. It was really exciting to have a whole bunch of new people on the same day. But it brought home to me how important it is, how we deal with people on their first day at work. You know, and I think if you've read Malcolm Gladwell, which a lot of us have, is how quickly people form quite lasting relationships mm -hmm. in the workplace. So if you put a group of six, seven, eight, ten, twenty people, whatever it might be, together, they are going to create a team quite quickly if you let them spend time together. So there's that side, and also introducing them into the teams that they're actually going to be working in, so that they form those alliances. So you do have to be a little careful about how alliances are formed on the first few days, particularly when you're working um, with a big group. But I think one of the most important things about induction, onboarding, those first few days, are those are the days that settle in people's heads as what the company is like. Is this a company I want to keep working for? Did they tell me? Am I feeling insecure? Did people spend time with me? All of those things are important and sometimes they are extremely difficult for a company to do because if you look at our time of, of bringing in people in March, it's usually our busiest month. And then, do you give people enough attention? Mm -hmm. So it is a, a really important thing to do, and the easiest and most successful way to do it is if it, have it built in to the structures of your company. And we've seen the benefit of now having a structured approach to bringing people into the organization.